But I'm not sure I know what Jesus you're talking about. He said, well, I'm talking about the one that saved my life. I said, you can't mean the garden of my ex-wife. He said, no, I'm talking about the only route. I said, well, look here, man, what'd you say? He says, yeah, I'm talking about the light and the only way. Save your soul from hell and eternal damnation. I said, are you telling me if I don't believe the way you believe that hell's the final resting place for me? He said, yeah. I said, I didn't realize I was in that bad a situation. He said, have you read the Bible? I said, not all the way through. He said, I think it's something you ought to do. Because every word in there is true. That's a proven fact. I said, you tell me you take the Bible literally. Well, he thought for a moment. He said, I do, really. I said, look, I got a problem concerning that. You take the book they call Leviticus. Don't you think some of the things in there are a little ridiculous? Like you can stone your kid if he talks back to you. And if your side runs are growing a little too long, oh, they can whoop on you because you know that's wrong. You're going to tell me those are Christian-like things to do? And how about Jonah and the whale? How can you go in the mouth and not come out the tail? Now that right there has always puzzled me. He said, well, you don't have to be puzzled no more. It was a miracle that brought Jonah to the shore. The whale spit him out, sailed on out to the sea. I said, well, what do you think about evolution? He said, now you're talking about the evolution. We all come from the Garden of Eden and a sacred soil. Well, how do you explain carbon dating? He said, well, that's scientific. Heathen misinformation. God worked six days, and on the seventh day, rested from his toil. Well, how do you know God's a man? Could be a woman, you understand? Or a combination of both. What do you think of that? <laughs> but he laughed. He said, that, that could never be. You see, God's a he and not a she. That's written in the Bible. And everybody knows that's fact. Well, I've heard the Bible's been changed. Because when you translate words, some of the means ain't the same. And, and, and in fact, even left some of the chapters out. And then you had those nefarious leaders that doing dastardly deeds. So what could be, maybe ain't what it seemed. Don't you think to a thinking mind that's got to raise a little doubt? He said, my friend... You Christian wrong, because I'm just here to take you home. And brother, I just want to save your soul. And I was thinking, well, we became brothers and friends real fast, like two ex-wives getting together to kick my... <laughs> I think it's time for this boy to get told. You see, man, you can preach. You can proselytize. Tell me how to live my life, and I know it's all done. In your God's name. But me and God, we're doing all right. By the golden rule, I try to live my life, but zealous like you don't feel the same. And most Christians I know, they ain't like you. And they believe in Jesus and his teachings too, but their words heal rather than inflame. So somebody, give him a BB gun. I'm going to shoot this boy in the bum. Because if I shot him in the head, I would miss his brain. You know, you speak softly, but your message is hard. Telling me your way is the only way to God. But I got to tell you, man, I just don't agree. If we're all children of God and we're all brothers, how can your children go to heaven and not the other? That kind of thinking just don't sit right with me. And what about the Native Americans? They walked here first, saw God in the sky, the rivers in the earth. You going to tell me they ain't going to heaven? He said, nope. They shall be denied because they did not know where the one crucified. I said, well, that makes as much sense to me as two and two is seven. Now, I think Jesus was a great prophet, one of the few to come here, to speak a simple truth like respecting others and living by the golden rule. But you don't respect my right to believe the way I hear God speaks to me, so the way I see it ain't much Christian in what you do. Well, this is the end of you and me, because right now I'm going to leave, because conversating with you ain't nothing but flawed. But there's one thing I'd like you to know, and I'm going to tell you before I go. I believe an honest prayer will find the ear of God. So you can preach, you can proselytize, tell me how to live my life, and I know, I know it's all done in your God's name. But most Christians I know, they ain't like you. 
and they believe in Jesus and his teachings too, but their words heal rather than inflame. Me and God, I think we're doing all right by the golden rule. I try to live my life, but zealots like you don't feel the same. So somebody, get my BB gun. I'm going to shoot this boy in the bum because if I shot him in the head, I would miss his brain. With God, turn your radio, your radio. Thanks for listening to the Godless Man's Gospel Hour today. I'm Dave Rowland here at Gulf Islands Radio. If you're into R&B, be sure to check out The Zone uh, at our site. And uh, I'll be here again next week with more great gospel music. Turn your radio on Turn your radio on And listen to the music in the air Turn your radio on Turn your radio on Have the glory share Have the glory share Turn your lights down low Turn your lights down low And listen to the master's radio Get in touch with God Quit in time Yep